Hi there, this tutorial is for anybody who uses PowerPoint who knows how frustrating it can be when it comes to adding animations to the slides because each object is given a generic name, for example, text box 1, text box 2, picture 1, picture 2, etc. So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to rename the objects, making it easier and quicker to add animations. So let's get started. So you'll notice on this slide, I have various different objects um, on, on here. So what exactly are objects? Objects are any type of media that you insert onto a slide. So if you go into the insert um, tab on your ribbon, you will see you have table, pictures, screenshots, photo albums, shapes, icons, smart art charts, text boxes, everything, anything you can basically add into a slide is classed as an object. So let's go to animations and I'll show you what I mean about the generic names that they're given. So I've gone into animations, you'll see the numbers here of the order of the animations. If you go into animation pane and you can see here table 5, text box 10, picture 9, rectangle, text box 11. So each of these has been given its own generic name. So as soon as you insert another object, um, it will be, if say, for example, if you wanted to insert another table, it would be automatically called table six, which makes it quite hard to get animations in order because you're not quite sure which object it's talking about when it has table five, table six, etc. So let me show you how to rename those objects. So if you go into your home tab on the ribbon, go over to the editing section, the editing group, click on the drop down arrow next to select and click selection pane. This opens up the selection pane here and this is where all your objects are listed and the names. So if you click on text box 10, you'll see here, this is the text box that's been highlighted. So we can give this a name if we want to. So you just highlight, click into it and highlight the text it's been given. And you can just start putting in, um, so our pictures. You're basically putting in the first few words of the text box so you know which text box it is. And press return. And if we go to picture, so you'll see the picture is selected here. Click into here, highlight what's in there, and we'll call it um, ninja image. And again, click on the next one. So this is the rectangle shape here. So click into here and highlight the text, and we'll just call it um, shape. And text box 11, so this is the one, and any type of media, so we'll call this just media text, for, just for argument's sake media text and table five so we'll just put in a um, sample table and title one we'll keep title one as it is because that's just um, that's not part of the animation anyway so that's fine so now um, this is a place where you can also reorder um, each of the objects so which is it's good if you want if you want to to bring things forward in front of another object or behind another object this is where you can do that as well or you can hide individual ones by just clicking on the little eye to the right of it and click again to make them appear again you can show all you can hide all so that's that's the selection pane so once you're finished you just close that down and we'll go back into the animations back onto the animation pane and you can see here each object has been given the names that we've just typed in. And it just makes it easier for reordering, reordering animations. Um, so that's it. I hope you found that helpful and happy learning. 